Welcome to the Dock Walk, brought to you by Ainsley and Ainsley, powering this INEOS Britannia America's Cup crew. I'm delighted to say that Ian Percy has joined me on the dock today, which is exciting, ahead of a busy race day. Perce, I want to ask you, when you look at the yachts that are sailing in this cup, what would you say, what's your interpretation of how far they've come and what we're seeing out there on the waters now compared to that Bermuda 2017 campaign with Artemis you were involved in? Yeah, so you go back to San Francisco and Bermuda and foiling came in and the boats started to you know, fly above the waves and go a lot faster. And really, we, I think we've seen that evolve and evolve and it's just incredible now. I think some of the, the efficiency upwind particularly, so as you go into the wind, is, is staggering. They're going 30 plus knots and, and tacking amazingly well. I think some of the things like the side claws is been really interesting to see how we've transitioned to use the power of the legs. But it, you know, ultimately it's evolution. You know, they've they've taken a revolutionary idea like foiling, and then the process of evolution has taken it to incredible heights. The cup always has a little bit of this challenge in that it's normally pretty fairly hard, as history would dictate, to beat the defender. So this time round, I don't know. There's sort of growing sense that this is going to be a close run thing. Yeah, particularly since we've seen the racing over the last few weeks and the challenges are, are pushing Team New Zealand with you know, lots of scalps against them. Um, so I think, I think it is going to be very healthy in that respect. I guess it's the second generation of a boat. That's always better. The first generation, in a way, the defender has a jump. The technical advantage is they ride the rule, so they're ahead. That gets eroded over time. We're on the second generation now, and with modern computational design techniques, that, that, I think that's fast-tracked. And as you say, the racing is now super exciting and super close. And you and Ben go a long way back. You're great mates. What do you make of the fact that he's he's still doing this? He's still steering one of these things out there. Yeah, I know. I, he was asking me how I was. I said, look, I'm all right, mate. You're about to go out on a race in America. So I'm going to go to your bar and have a beer. So look, we're, yeah, I, I, I've hung up my sailing boots and uh, a while back and have massive admiration for his ability to keep going, that tenacity. That ability to keep the reactions, that sporting skill to such a high age. And we see it in other sports with Lewis and people who can extend their careers with modern sports science and just sheer talent and tenacity. I'll meet you at the bar in about two minutes once I've finished this dock walk. See you in a bit. I'm going to take you over this way. In fact, Will Bakewell, come with me. I'm going to call this man Performance Will because that's what he is all about. Let's walk down the dock together and you can explain to me who's on this chase boat with you as you uh, hit the waves today because there's going to be plenty of excitement. We're looking up two races today against the US and the Kiwis. Just talk us through who's on this chase boat and why. In fact, I'm going to move okay, you over this yeah, side yeah, yeah, no so you can actually point out the relevant people. So, so on the boat, we've obviously got driver Brendan putting us in the right place relative to the yacht and making sure we're off the course at the right times. Uh, we've got we've got Shabby Fernandez and Rob Wilson, who, uh, sailing coaches. We've got Alberto, who uh, leads the, the sort of on the water systems team. So he's monitoring data. He is uh, liaising with people on shore and in Brackley, making sure that everything's running properly. Um, we have Elvira, uh, who is just around the corner here. She's responsible for the wind, uh, making sure the wind's looking right. That gives us all our performance information. Um, and we have Cappy, who tells us what the wind is going to do. Um, and what, my friend, are you doing on there? Um, I'm trying to make everything run smoothly. <laughs> um, in a, on, a, on a race day, that's, that's paramount, making sure the coaches can coach, making sure the sailors can sail, and I'll try and deal with all the rest. Um, on a testing day, obviously, it's a bit different, and I'm trying to run the tests and make sure we get the data that, um, the data that we need to make our decisions. OK, well, go well, performance crew. I'm just going to see if I can find some yachties. Hang on a second. Matt Rossiter, let's find him. Let's locate Matt. Oh, you're looking very Australian today I'm with on this brand. on. I've got no hair, you see. <laughs> Protect the <laughs> head. Be Protect the head. Yeah. Um, Matt, what are we what are we doing today with these two races that we've got to look forward to? How are we approaching race day today? Well, I think um, yeah, obviously two races today. The race against the Kiwis is a bit of a funny one where we're obviously racing them, but it doesn't necessarily count towards the LV. LV Cup. So yeah, big focus is on racing the US. Um, I think the T's been building really good momentum after after last week. So yeah, I think just do our thing, keep that momentum going and yeah, bring it bring it to them really. Okay, well we look forward to seeing you do just that a little bit later on. I'm going to see if I can locate my husband. I can. He's speaking to Lee on the far side of this boat. Ben, can I borrow you for a second? Now somebody with um, better brains than me has suggested I ask you about sail selection today. I mean, how are you going to approach that? Bear in mind we've got these two races and some interesting conditions to look forward to. Yeah, it's a tricky day 
in that respect because we're the first race and the third race so we don't really want to be changing mainsails between races i mean we could do but it's uh take consumers a lot of time and the forecast is obviously really light winds now and then building we just don't know how much so yeah i'm not i can't say right now what sail we've gone for but uh hopefully it's the same one the whole way through the day but you know we always we're always able to change if we really have to but like i said it's uh it's a time-consuming exercise, particularly for the mainsail. OK, well, good luck out there today. Two races against the US and also New Zealand a little later on. Don't forget, you can catch all the action as ever on TNT Sports or on YouTube. And our analysis show, which will take place a little later on today, you can also see that on YouTube. And we'll be back here again for the dock walk, maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. We'll see you then.